Hey guys, it's Janet Borsky. Today I'm going to talk about my new poetry book, Neon Sun. I've previously published two poetry books. They're titled Bones, which was released in 2019, and the second one was titled X, which was originally released in 2020. I'm here to chat to you about my third upcoming book titled Neon Sun. As always, I wanted to do something different than my previous poetry books. So with Neon Sun, I decided to do a very short collection of poetry, similarly to a chapbook. In addition to that, I also drew all the illustrations that you will find in Neon Sun. Prior to this, I had absolutely no experience with illustrating, with InDesign, Photoshop, Procreate, none of it. So it was a whole learning process which was very exciting for me and it was additionally exciting because I absolutely loved adding a little bit more of me into my book. So going back to Neon Sun being similar to a chapbook, for comparison purposes, X, my previous poetry book, has 110 entries and Neon Sun has 24. A poetry chapbook is a very small collection of your work. It's significantly shorter than your typical collection. Essentially, it's like a concept album where you are elaborating on the same metaphor or topic. In a chapbook, there's usually a consistent theme, so with Neon Sun, it's all about love. <laughs> this is Neon Sun. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there are repetitive I love yous all through the rip. With Neon Sun, the concept or the larger idea is about the way that I view and express love. Understanding that there are several types of love and therefore different catalysts, Neon Sun focuses on the instinctual, emotional, affectionate bond typically found in romantic relationships. I genuinely don't think you can ever define love because it's never the same. <laughs> to talk more about the concept and why I decided to write Neon Sun, it's because I have previously heard quite conditional things when people talk about love and I have found that it can be so easily said but not very openly expressed or meant to the depth that those words actually hold. I believe love, regardless of the event, should be just as distinguished and celebrated. The other day I was talking to someone about the concept of Neon Sun and their response was, but I don't understand because everybody loves differently. And I said, yes, exactly, but when was love celebrated just because? This book is, this is what I believe love is, this is how I view it, this is how I express it, and this is how I believe love should be celebrated, which is 24-7. That's why there are 24 entries in Neon Sun, because there are 24 hours in a day. It's genius. <laughs> Such a genius. <laughs> so to talk a little bit more about the interior of the book. In addition to the 24 poems, I have separated these poems into the different stages of the day. So there are four chapters, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Each entry represents a different time of the day with a timestamp for the title of the poem. So it's further supporting the fact that the events don't matter. It's about how you appreciate and express love irrespective of what the actual day is and whether or not typically that day should be celebrated. With Neon Sun, I wanted the thought process and the concept behind it to be more mindful and more in the now and appreciative and recognizing the importance of this person that you are with and expressing very openly how much you love them. And I think I nailed it. <laughs> why I titled Neon Sun is very perfectly articulated in the introduction, so I will share that part with you now. The sun already contains neon, but the abundance of neon within the sun is always being questioned by astronomers. It has been stated that neon does not appear in the spectrum of light, visible to the naked eye, but its abundance is shown by how brightly it shines in x-rays. It has been concluded that there is more neon in the sun than originally suspected. To me, the beauty of this is in its inconclusivity, that it simply cannot be measured.
I wanted to release this book very close to, but not actually on Valentine's Day. Neon Sun is going to be released on the 10th of February, 2022. It's not only a passion of mine to write authentically and vulnerably, but it's also another passion of mine to consider absolutely every aspect of the book, including, <laughs> including its release date. So I picked the 10th of February, four days before Valentine's Day. The reason why I also selected the 10th of February is also because there is an entry in Neon Sun that refers to Valentine's Day being four days away. I thought the 10th of February was perfect. I wanted to... I wanted to do, why is that so hard to say? I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to do. <laughs>